Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petite. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to draft a pattern for a custom size binder cover, just like this one. So if this is something you would like to learn, then keep on watching. The process of drafting the pattern pieces for your binder cover is exactly the same regardless of the size of your binder. So I have a small A5 binder today, but if your binder is A4 or maybe letter size, you need to follow the exact steps. To draft the right size of pattern, take your binder and measure the height. So for me, this is about 23 centimeters. Mm, what I like to do is to add additional two centimeters, which is about three quarters of an inch to the height and width of my binder cover. Uh, this way I know that once I made the cover, I can easily top stitch around to give it a nice and um, neat finish. So I'm going to write that down. So height is 25 centimeters. So that's about 10 inches. And then we're going to measure the width. So I would avoid opening the binder and measuring the width like this, um, although it is much easier because the width will be shorter. So as you can see here, the width is 42.5 centimeters. However, when I close it and I measure it this way, The width is 43 centimeters, so it's about five millimeters, uh, a quarter of an inch wider. So width is 45 centimeters, which is about 17 and three quarters of an inch. Once you have those measurements, you can start drafting your pattern pieces. Um, because my paper is not wide enough, to accommodate the entire pattern piece, I'm going to divide that measurement in half and draft only half of the pattern. Here we go, just like that. And since I have drafted only half of my pattern, I'm going to make sure that I mark that edge. This is going to be my fold line. So you can draw small arrows like this and then write cut on fold. This is the main pattern piece for our binder cover. Um, so if you want to have a plain, simple uh, cover, go ahead and label your pattern piece. But because I like to mix different fabric and create a sort of color blocking effect, I'm going to divide my main pattern piece into um, two different sections. So I have drafted different ideas beforehand. And I think for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to go with this sample here. So as you can see, you could divide it and maybe add an accent fabric in like different angles. So I'm going to use this idea for my cover. To do that, you can simply take a ruler and draw a line in any angle that you like, but I like to use the 60 degrees line on my ruler. So I'm going to measure about four centimeters from that corner, which is about an inch and a half. And then I'm going to use the 60 degrees line on my ruler to draw the angled line. Since we divided our pattern piece in two different sections, um, this means that we need to draft two separate pattern pieces. Make sure you draw a grain line so you know exactly how to cut your fabric. Just like that. And then you can label your pattern pieces. So I called my pattern a binder cover because that's what I'm making. And I called this pattern piece front accent and this one just the front. This 
needs to be cut two times from external fabric and this pattern needs to be cut one time on fold from external fabric. I also highly recommend adding extra notches so you know exactly how to sew this seam. So I can just draw a couple of lines and these are my notches. So when I cut my fabric, I know exactly how to align those two pieces. We have the main pattern pieces drafted. The last pattern piece that we need to draft is the sleeve. So I have a sample of another uh, binder cover here. And this is what I mean, that's the sleeve. So you can basically insert your binder into your cover. To draft the pattern for the sleeve, you need to decide how wide you want that sleeve to be. So don't go too much because then it will be very difficult to place the binder inside. I'm going to roughly measure it and see how visually I like it. So I think for me, 12 centimeters, which is about four and three quarters of an inch, will be a nice distance. So let's measure it on our pattern piece. So this is the edge of my binder cover. So I'm going to measure 12 centimeters from that edge and I can simply draw a line just like that. So this will be the sleeve. This is the draft of our binder cover. So now we can take the tracing paper and create individual pattern pieces. To begin, we're going to trace the main pattern piece. That will be the lining of our cover. Once you have that trace, you can label your pattern and then we're going to add one centimeter seam allowance. So whenever you are adding seam allowance, when you have the cut on fold, this remains as it is. Don't add seam allowance to the cut on fold. So you can simply extend that edge and then add seam allowance to the remaining edges. Then I'm going to label this pattern. So let's call it main panel and this needs to be cut one time from lining fabric. Here you go. So this is our lining pattern piece. Next we can trace the front piece. So this is this one. So again you're going to trace along those lines. Mark your notches and your cut on fold. Then label your pattern and add seam allowance. I'm going to move my paper so I have space for the seam allowance and I'm going to trace the other pattern piece. Then you can add one centimeter seam allowance all around. Here we go. And lastly, you're going to trace the sleeve pattern piece and label your pattern. So this is sleeve. We need to cut it two times from external fabric and then two times from lining fabric. And as always, add one centimeter seam allowance. Once you traced all your pattern pieces, then you can cut them out. All right, the pattern for the custom size binder cover is now finished. So check out my next video if you want to learn how to sew it. See you next time. Stay crafty, friends.